Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime. My name is Bi Zhang and I am a battalion chief with the City of La Crosse Fire Department. And today I'm going to read to you guys a book called A Flower in the Snow by Tracy Corduroy and illustrated by Sophie Elsa. A Flower in the Snow. In an icy kingdom far away lived a little girl called Luna. Her happy smile sparkled like the snow. Luna loved to dance through the snowflakes or catch them on her tongue. Or leave little tiptoe patterns everywhere. You can see all the tiptoe patterns and smiling and dancing around. But there was one thing Luna loved more than all of these. He was big and soft and cuddly and was Luna's best friend, Bear. You guys all see Bear? Luna and Bear belong together like peanut butter and jelly. And everything they did they did together. Skating on the frozen lake, or even catching a cold. Both of them are sick together. Rolling giant snowballs. Luna lived in an igloo and Bear lived in a snow cave in her little garden where one bright day something most unusual popped up. It was a flower, a dancing yellow flower. There's a flower, there's Bear's cave. How pretty is it, thought Bear. Then carefully he picked it for someone special. <clears throat> Just look at its face, smiled Luna. My little sunshine flower. I've never seen anything so beautiful. I'll treasure it forever. But all too soon, her flower wilted, and as the last petal fell, so Luna's sparkly smile disappeared too. You can see all the petals that fell off the flower, and Luna's sad, and nothing would bring it back. Eventually, Bear knew what he had to do to bring back Luna's smile. So away he sailed to find another sunshine flower. There goes Bear in his sailboat going to find her sunshine flower. The next day, Luna searched everywhere for Bear. Then at last, she found a note. Gone to find a sunshine flower, Bear XX. From then on, every night, Luna would gaze at the moon. Please come home tomorrow, Bear, she'd whisper. And every morning, she'd rush to his cave and peep through the little window. Bear, she called, but he was never there. She's looking through his window, no bear in his cave.
far, far away bear search for this special gift for Luna. Along dusty windswept tracks, on through deep, dark jungles, down soft, grassy hillsides, and across hot, sandy deserts. But though he hunted high and low, see all the places that bear went to look for this present for Luna, he could never find a sunshine flower. Then one crisp and twinkly night, a snowflake, snowflake kissed his nose. How good it felt, so cold and light. It was time to go home to Luna. So Bear set sail once again, and tall waves tossed his boat. Through days and nights, he held on tight, until at last he landed on the icy shores of home. <clears throat> There's Bear back in his sailboat coming home, and he finally made it. He's on the icy shore. Bear was sad that he had no gift for Luna, but seeing her again was all that mattered. But Luna wasn't dancing through the snowflakes or making tiptoe patterns in the snow like she used to. Bear began to worry, and then he saw her. Looking around and he sees her sitting up there Bear, cried Luna, you came home. But I didn't bring your gift, Bear answered sadly. Oh, Bear, smiled Luna, you are my gift. As long as you are here with me, I'm happy. Then taking his big soft paw, Bear, come with me, she said. There's something very special I have to show you. Oh, they're so happy to see each other. And Luna's taking Bear to see something that's special. When the last petal fell from the sunshine flower, some little seeds were left. So I planted one, smiled Luna, and watered it every day. And look what grew. Another sunshine flower. Then, from her pocket, she took Bear's note and carefully unwrapped it. I've been saving these seeds to plant with you, she said. So Luna and Bear planted the seeds and cared for them each day. And before long, there was all the seeds and they're planting them. Wow! A sunshine meadow danced in the snow. Now hiding among the flowers are butterflies and bees and snails and spotted ladybugs. So all those seeds that they planted grew all these flowers. And now you got all these insects that are coming to enjoy the flower along with Bear and Luna. and two very best friends. Like I said, Bear and Luna, enjoying the flowers and the butterflies and all the other insects. The end. Well, thanks everybody for joining us today for me reading A Flower in the Snow. Thanks again, and we'll see you guys next time.